private equity is an area of the market really dominated by names like Blackstone, KKR, and Carlyle. How can the average investor get exposure to this part of the market? Well, there's increasing um, retail investments uh, uh, going on into the private equity market. So the big funds like a Carlyle, uh, a KKR and a Blackstone are increasingly uh, building offerings that will be accessible uh, to the retail investor as well, uh, starting as low as ten or twenty five thousand dollars. All right. Very interesting. So are these private market deals? Do you have to be an accredited investor or just your average retail investor can get in on these? Yeah, increasingly, the uh, the average credit uh, retail investor will be able to get access to those offerings. Um, and increasingly, also, digital offerings and digital platforms allow retail investors to get access to this market. Yeah, it's a really interesting trend. What about investing in those companies themselves? For example, KKR is a publicly traded company, so is Carlyle. Um, yeah, these can be interesting investments as well. And the market has rebounded from uh, um, on, on those uh, on those companies as well. Um, of course, you're you're investing into the long-term management fee streams uh, that these companies uh, have, and you're backing on the continued growth of the private equity and uh, private um, asset class. All right, very interesting. So I want to talk about some research. Uh, dry powder, that's the money that private equity companies have to, to buy things, to do whatever they're trying to do. It's pretty much at a record, $3.7 trillion, trillion with a T, just about the same as last year, just under a third, $1.1 in buyout funds. Why is so much of that dry powder still on the sidelines? Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting fact. There's $3.7 trillion of dry powder, as you say, which is a, a few years of uh, typical investment in the, in the private equity industry. And it's on the sidelines because... Uh, the industry has been waiting uh, to exit because of the uncertainty in the market. Where are the interest rates going? Um, how is the economy going to evolve? And now what you see is there's not just 3.7 trillion of dry powder, but what's more interesting is there's 2.8 trillion of unrealized value mm. in the current private equity portfolio companies. And so the industry needs to get going um, to start exiting again uh, the type of companies they've been waiting for 12 months on the sidelines. And it's time to get moving. It's time to get those 2.8 trillion back to the market. A quarter of those companies are already in their portfolios for longer than six years. And so the industry cannot uh, continue to wait on the sidelines.